Perky Plains and RC here are operating at 2.4 gigahertz and got the good old trusty Diet Do. All right, um, we're going to talk to you, talk to you guys a little bit about um, how to safely discharge a LiPo battery. Now, you know this comes into play, of course. For example, that let's say that you've um, we're going to go out to the field or, and do some RC stuff and. Um, let's just say the weather just all of a sudden just took a turn for the worst and it could possibly be a couple of days or maybe even a week to get back out to the field to do any kind of flying or, or driving your car around or whatever. So, so you've got a batch of fully charged lipos ready to go, but, um, you know, it, it's really not recommended to leave them fully charged for long periods of time. It's good to go ahead and charge them and, and charge them up and then just charge them, use them up relatively quickly, you know, at least within a couple of days or so. So, yeah, definitely not recommended to leave them fully charged for long periods of time. So, let's we'll talk about ways of discharging a LiPo battery. Now, the first and foremost thing, of course, is running running it in your RC vehicle, whether it's a car, plane, or what have you. And that would usually entail you having to run the motor. Um, if you can find a way to safely run the motor, uh, if you know you can't get out, uh, like I said, if you know a way you can safely do it, then by all means do that, because that actually will be a, a much faster way. Um, another option is um, with your LiPo charger. Uh, most LiPo chargers uh, should have some sort of discharge or storage level function. Uh, that, of course, is a, good, is a good alternative as well to discharge them. Um, the thing with that, though, is most chargers will not discharge quickly. Um, they'll be doing it, um, it could be possibly an hour or so just to discharge a single LiPo. So obviously those are two good ways that you can discharge a LiPo battery. But let me show you a cool little technique that I do as well. All right, so what you can do is you hook your LiPo battery up to a 12 volt uh, lamp or light. Uh, these are commonly found at auto parts stores, um, basically a, a 12 volt headlight. Um, solder your ends, or solder your positive and negative onto the light bulb. And then of course, just put your favorite uh, battery connector here. And then wire that up to your LiPo battery and use that to safely discharge it. Now the thing is you can't just leave it like that for a long period of time. You have to kind of, you know, monitor it or check it every now and then. So uh, I recommend either using a watt meter to monitor, um, to monitor how much uh, it's used up. Or you can also use one of these uh, battery checkers as well uh, hooked into your uh, balance cord. So either one of those options would work good to help, help you monitor it. Or you can just basically set a timer. Um, if you've got a fully charged LiPo, I would say after about 20-25 minutes, um, I would go ahead and just check it and see where the voltage is with it uh, at that point. And then once it gets down to a decent enough um, uh, voltage level, then you can go ahead and let your uh, LiPo charger sort of take over from there and put it uh, into, into a, to a storage level. Okay, and just a little uh, close up here of the uh, the light bulb I'm using. This is a backup turn signal lamp. Like I said, I think I got it from AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts, one of those types of places. And it looks, you know, something like that there. Um, now as far as wiring it, uh, like I said, I did go ahead and put my XT60 connector on this end. And on the light bulb side, I have the positive here going to the, the um, basically the uh, larger or the, the rounded uh, base on it and then I have the negative here on the on the tip on the very bottom so that's actually how I have it soldered on there so if you uh, want to give it a try feel free um, there are probably some things out there as well to even wire two and three light bulbs together so it'll even it'll even uh, drain your battery even quicker if you want to do it that way so, uh, but if you have any questions, um, leave me a comment below. So anyways, that is all. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.